Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. What an insane day of Bundesliga team of the season, day number one. And it's gotten even more insane, especially in regards to the prices of these Bundesliga Tots cards as we've headed into the Friday night, into Saturday morning, and into the day on Saturday time frame because a lot of these cards have absolutely been destroyed in price because of some insane pack weight and on some specific lightning round packs in this door. So I want to take a look at that in today's video, how you were able to make some coins and you're just kind of talking about the market yesterday and how it was a little bit of a lackluster day of content for most people in the game. There wasn't a general consensus of hype in relation to the objectives, in relation to the SBCs or the cards and packs. We feel like the leaks that we saw set our hopes here and what EA delivered was not quite up to that level. So in turn, that feels a little bit underwhelming to some people. So I'll talk about that in today's video as well and what to expect today on Saturday. Usually Saturdays are kind of quieter days um, on the game in terms of content. So I think that might continue today. We do have a leaked SBC that we'll take a look at and talk about uh, for potentially coming today on Saturday on this game. But really what Saturdays and what this weekend is for is getting those weekend league games played. Good luck if you're out there playing. Tough start for me, 0-2. Uh, but some people say if you lose your first three games, then the rest of your matchups are easier. So maybe I'll lose that third one, and we'll see if my matchups are easier throughout the rest of the weekend. I'm just trying to hit that 11-win threshold and get those two cheeky red picks and maybe get something big from Bundesliga Tots. But before we talk more about that, let's talk about this market. If you do enjoy the video today, hit a thumbs up on it, and of course, subscribe if you're new. I want to take a look at these packs that are like single-handedly dropping insane amounts uh, the prices of these Bundesliga Tots cards on the market. And these packs are lightning round packs that are in the store. These are the packs right here. They're these specific Bundesliga star packs. There's a couple of them that have been released. 84 plus Bundesliga star rare players pack. So you're getting only Bundesliga cards from this pack. If we take a look at the pack weight, 25% chance of a Tots player. And yes, since it's a Bundesliga only pack, that's a 25% chance of a Bundesliga Tots card being pulled from this, what is it, a 90k pack. We also have the 85 plus star pack, which is only 14%. And that would include the EFL tots that are also in packs right now. It is crazy on some of these specific and special Bundesliga packs, how high the pack weight is for these tots cards. And these, these packs right here started coming out about four to five hours after the content was released yesterday on Friday. And you can tell because that is specifically when a lot of these card prices started to drop big time. Personally, I traded with Erling Holland yesterday. He got a brand new Tots card. He did get a four-star weak foot upgrade. But again, this is one of the cards we were hoping for a 4-4 four, four upgrade and not just a one weak foot and no skill moves. That's part of why the content was a little underwhelming yesterday. I bought this guy like a 750 to 770, sold him just over 820,000 coins for like a just a small flip. And look where this started to drop off. He went from 800K to 700K in an hour. And then from 700K to 500K in the next hour after that. And currently he has 400,000 coins. His card price has been slashed in half because of kind of what we see every Friday night. A little bit of what this price drop is built in is just people selling cards that they try in the early part of the day. They go out, they start their weekend league, and then they sell, right? So that drives the price down a little bit as we often see new cards and packs lower on Friday nights heading into Saturdays. But this drop, a 50% drop, there's absolutely some pack supply that is taken apart uh, of this price drop, which is perfectly explained by these Bundesliga special lightning round packs. One other thing I want to show you, this is a screenshot from Twitter of another one of these packs, an 83 star duo Bundesliga pack, 35% chance of a Bundesliga Tots card. What this is really doing is it is supplying the Bundesliga Tots cards on the market like crazy. Even some of these higher tier cards that you would expect to be super duper rare have a lot more supply than what we would expect um, because of these packs and because of how many people are opening these lightning round packs, knowing that they're really good. People are opening these packs with coins and getting some really good pulls. Uh, Holland had like two pages of supply earlier during like the heat of the day, uh, a couple hours after content, maybe three pages. Um, and now he has six and uh, it's the late night. Usually right now we see these cards getting really rare. They don't have as much supply because the uh, supply is down. Less people are opening packs. But now this Holland card is down under 430,000 coins, like 420K. But like I go, I search 10,000 coins up and we have a whole page on a really, really rare card. So 
Uh, it's just crazy to see how much these card prices have dropped off. The one that I mentioned most, which probably is the biggest, I think the biggest percentage point drop off on the day is this Kimmich card. Kimmich is 620K sitting, 615 right now. I mean, if you look at these two, they're all first owner tradable and, and fresh, right? This is somebody who's packed this Kimmich card and they're listing it up on the market to try and sell it. Now, how is this going to uh, impact the market today on Saturday? Well, first of all, what it has done is it's lost a lot of people, a lot of coins. Uh, you know, Jude Bellingham right now is 3.7 million. He was extinct at four. We still have an extinct in Kunku. Uh, so people aren't really losing coins yet on the Nkunku card. But with seeing all this pack weight, it worries me a little bit about this Nkunku. I know that he's super hyped. I know that he might get a price range update pretty soon. If he does not get it by the content drop today, if you're buying this dude to try him out, I would really think about taking the coins because we're going to see these Bundesliga Tots cards drop even more today as we get closer to content drop because people are going to sell them expecting more supply and more lightning round packs. And of course... These cards are going to begin to be packed from the tradable rewards that people will get for getting rank uh, four and above in the weekend league. So these cards might have a little bit of a rebound uh, today on Saturday, maybe from Friday night late when I'm recording this. If some of these cards get really low and really rare, like Lewandowski is 670,000 coins at the moment, 660. He was 600K flat. I still think this is too expensive because he's got a team of the year card that has better stats. It just doesn't have the five-star weak foot. That's 330K. That's my take. I don't think a, um, a five-star weak foot plus one on the weak foot is really worth double the card price. That's just my opinion. Um, but you know, some of these cards are going to get low and they're going to rebound back. People are going to wake up today and be like, oh my goodness, I bought Diaby yesterday for 290K and now he's 150,000 coins, right? I think the Diaby and Frimpong set up here on the right side, a little 451, both those Leverkusen guys you can link together for 200,000 coins basically right now and have a fun right mid and right back combo to try out, both with 99 pace and really high dribbling stats, going to be really, really responsive in this game. So there's, there's a decent bit of hype for a card like Diaby and stuff like that. But all I'm saying is if you're trading with these cards, be very, very careful. I would not hold on to them for long because I would imagine, again, like... We saw yesterday those specific um, Bundesliga lightning rounds are going to be run today on the market as well. Uh, so I think there's going to be a lot more price fluctuation and some of these cards are just going to get dirt cheap. I mean, that's the moral of the story. I mean, again, uh, Vert's card, we just saw on Flippin, right? I sold Vert's yesterday for 650K. I bought him at like 580, sold at 640 to 650. It was a big W, right? And now this guy is all the way down at 400K. It's crazy. That's just, there's no other way to say it, but it's crazy. Now, do I think that these these cards overall, because of the supply, are super duper undervalued and they're way too cheap? Honestly, no. I don't think these cards are uh, super duper cheap and undervalued. I think they were way too expensive to start off the day yesterday. Like the Jude Bellingham card at four mil, I get that there's a lot of hype there. I get that the Indica card is really, really good, has some great stats. Some of these cards might be a bit undervalued, but in total, if you take a look at the Prem Tots team and again, how good and how hype these cards are, but like a Bernardo Silva at 156,000 coins being that cheap, Diogo Jota 188, Trent at 145. I mean, I think there's still so much hype for how good the Prem cards were last week. These Bundesliga cards are not seen as as hype as the Premier League from last week. And I think that's why they were going to drop down eventually. But with these lightning round packs, it just happened super duper fast. And uh, now they're reaching a point where it seems like they're a bit lower and honestly a bit more reasonable, kind of where they should be. Based on how we saw the Premier League Tots cards react in price last week, these cards started off today way too expensive, right? I mean, Davies being like 700K was way too expensive. I, I mean, I even think that like um, Thomas Muller at like 180 was a bit too expensive. Holland at 820,000 coins was absolutely way too expensive. Think about this. Who would you rather have for 800K? Holland with a three-star skills and a four-star weak foot. Definitely not the most meta type of card in this game. Or would you have a team of the season, Hyunmin Sun with a four-star skill, five-star weak foot, and basically the best finesse shots in FIFA? I would rather have the Hyunmin Sun, right? So now it makes sense for Erling Holland and some of these cards with a little bit less hype than the Bundesliga, with not as good as skill move, weak foot upgrades. I think compared to the Premier League, they, these cards are not as hype, and that's partially why these prices are staying this low, and I expect them to fluctuate a bit, but stay pretty low and even drop even more later on today on Saturday. So those are kind of all my thoughts on the prices right now with these cards. I might get risky with it. 
I might and trade with a couple of them. Um, but it's gonna, I'm going to have to wait until all the lightning rounds are done. And when the supply somehow starts to, to dry up, it's going to be ultra, ultra quick flips with these cards because they are just, they're just so supplied and you're going to have to get an undercut and you're going to have to find the card and it's absolutely low price. I thought Kimmich was going to be a good buy at like 620 K and now Kimmich has a whole page here almost at 620 K with the ones that are at like 630 and 640 probably going to get relisted. So I'm just going to keep waiting for me when I'm recording this right now at like 3 a.m. UK time because these these cards are just continually getting packed. So I'm going to be very careful with these cards tonight. I would recommend you guys doing the same. Now, speaking of more Bundesliga content type uh, stuff on this game, we had a flashback Vitzel SBC yesterday, which is kind of crazy. This is like deja vu almost i think it was said that he has received a flashback sbc you know what we're actually going to go to footbin and look at this because it's kind of a crazy stat so we have the flashback vitzel it's only 112,000 coins it's not a bad card four star four star it's a solid item right i have no problem if you want to get this dude and run him as a cdm or craft him this week when you're doing upgrade packs definitely a w from that standpoint but take a look at this flashback vitzel in fifa 21 we had the in a flashback this is the old flashback card design in the fifa 20 game with the face mask on vitzel and then uh even in fifa 19 i don't we didn't have a flashback in fifa 19 but we had a foot birthday uh, card for Vitzel as well. So we've had three years in a row now with FIFA 20, FIFA 21, and now FIFA 22 with the flashback Vitzel. So it's, it just seems like deja vu that we've had three years in a row uh, of an SBC for this guy. Again, just really cheap, kind of decent, not the most meta. People just say, okay, it's decent, right? Honestly, the biggest W of content yesterday was probably this with this Sule card, if I'm being honest. Uh, a Bayern center back with these types of links with Really good acceleration and solid sprint speed. I know this guy is going to be a big bully type center back, right? He's got 99 strength, only 46 jumping, but he's six foot five, um, and he's got the high and stocky body type. This guy is going to be the epitome of a wall, right? He's not going to move in the most agile way. He's got good reaction, solid composure, and I think this is an SB. It's an objective that you have to play 10 games to get him for, right? It's really not that hard. This is like the biggest W of content. Seriously, you throw a shadow on this guy. People have been using the showdown Sule. Um, which this guy, a plus three, plus four, plus seven dribbling off of his showdown card. People have loved this 90 rated Sule for so long. So that was honestly, if you see here, like a pretty solid upvote range. If you run a Bundesliga team, that's a really great free center back uh, to get right now in this game. So I'm a big fan of that. Honestly, like I said, that was like the biggest W from the content drop yesterday. Now we did have also some flash challenges, which I missed flash challenge three. I don't know what it was. Um, the second flash challenge was like an 81 to 87 pack, not the best. Uh, we did have a couple tokens released yesterday, a Bundesliga Tots challenge one, got to catch up on these tokens, at least I do. Um, and then other than that, it was, it was kind of a quiet day really. And that's why you saw a lot of the rest of the market, not talking about Bundesliga cards here for a second, but for the rest of the game, uh, like we were talking about with the Hyunmin Sun, this guy exploded yesterday. A lot of the Premier League Tots cards rose up even further, and now they're down. I think people knowing that these cards are expected to drop as we head throughout this weekend, like we talked about in yesterday's video, a lot of the Premier League Tots had spikes yesterday. And I want to show you those prices right now and take a look at a few of those. We're just going to use uh, Sun as our example again. 791 on the PlayStation. Take a look at this. Yesterday, he was 816, went all the way up to almost 900 and is now dropped back down as people are finishing their weekend league games and selling these cards back off a bit. He's down to 791. Now, some of these cards might drop a little bit too low. They might be tradable and, and uh, flippable, if you will. Like um, Van Dyke was 750, now he's 680. That Sun card probably has the biggest percentage point drop off from where he was. Um, and so maybe we'll take a look at flipping a, a couple of Hyunmin Sun if he gets low enough today. But if we take a look at the rest of the market, I know that Gravenberch, yeah, Gravenberch rebounded really, really well yesterday for a very popular meta center mid. Zaha was down in the low 400s. He spiked back up to the mid, like 460 range, I believe. Some of your Bundesliga um, special cards that were invested in a lot yesterday too, they had some peaks and some valleys, but a lot of them are down, I think. I sold my Nabries at like 87K in the hype, and he is down now at 74,000 coins. Now, Hinka Pay is another one. I told, you, I told you guys last night that I was selling this guy at 62K. He spiked Friday morning at like 74, went down to 50, and he's kind of just been chilling in like the 50 to 60K range ever since. Um, what really did this guy well is the Frimpong link. 
And I think that for a really cheap budget, this Hinkape and Frimpong are really, really great value. Do I think this card goes too much higher throughout the rest of this week? It is rare, so it could go up some more um, as people pack Hinkape from SBCs and upgrade packs, stuff like that. Or if they, excuse me, if they pack um, Frimpong or Diaby, but uh, I'm glad that I sold a lot of those those cards in the hype. If any of you guys bought Captain's Royce, he went up to like 250. He's back down to 230. Um, Mario Gomez, wow, this card is back to 308. I might have to take a look at this because this is a really rare card. Even with the Bundesliga prices dropping, a lot of people going out and trying cards like this. Mario Gomez was three. He was like 350, I think, at one point, and he's back down. So, you know, just focus on your rare cards. If you're trying to make any movements on the market, I don't know if I'm going to end up buying one of these or not. It's slightly tempting, but also not really because he's not the most meta item like we've been talking about. So we'll keep an eye on stuff like that, your Bundesliga cards, out-of-pack specials. Um, but that's just kind of been the trend on the market, even the last two weeks. Last week with the, with the Prem, a lot of the market fell off out of the weekend and i think it might happen again this weekend as well um with how cheap the tots cards are people go out and they try the new items just for a really low cost so that's kind of where, how we're feeling about the market in terms of the sbc fodder market as well as expected it's down and i think it's investable i really think that it is uh these 84 rateds in the low twos are good 85s in the 5k range are pretty good one thing i'd be very careful is take a look at some of these cheapest cards by rating we talked about buying Bundesliga fodder. Now, EA is trying to counteract the rise with Bundesliga fodder with these special Bundesliga packs. So look at these cheapest players by rating. What do you notice in some of the cheapest cards by rating for each rating? 84. You've got Guerrero, Andre Silva, and Ginter. And Ginter is usually not one of the cheapest 84s, but he's getting extra supply from the 83 plus duo pack that we just showed here, right? Or the 84 plus pack that's in the lightning round right now. Gulashi, one of the cheapest 85 summer. They're usually there, but Nabry is really low. He's 5k for an 85. That's cheap for him. And then you see the 86s. Hummels, as a German center back, center backs are always selling more for fodder. He's the cheapest 85 at 8.5K. Coman is low. Castillo's is low. So as you take a look across the market, you see a lot of these Bundesliga cards are the lower tier of fodder. I think that, you know, I don't think they're going to run these Bundesliga landing rounds all weekend. So that could be just, you know, like for this Hummels card, an opportunity to get him a little bit lower with good links or a Coman card, the same thing. But just be careful with that if they continue to run those. Um, I think that anytime today on Saturday as well, I don't expect big content today on Saturday, to be completely honest. Last week on Saturday, it wasn't that big of a day. I think that that would probably maintain the same level. They would maintain the same levels of hype. Um for this Saturday inside of Bundesliga Tots as well. I wouldn't expect anything super duper crazy on the game today. Um, so I think that you'd have plenty of opportunities to buy into fodder if you really wanted to do so. Uh, but I think it's a good opportunity to do so because like, again, I mentioned, and we'll talk about this tomorrow. We'll see if we have any leaks uh, today on Saturday before we really start to mention it. But that 92 plus icon moments pack is going away. It's, it's going to be out of here on Sunday and uh, Sunday might be the day where they finally release that Icon Moments player pick. Maybe. We'll see if we have some leaks. I would imagine that an SBC like that would have a bit of hype and build up to it. So we'll keep an eye out for that. Uh, but that's why I think Fodder could be a good club stock on the mid from like the 84s to the 88 range. I think that would be a pretty solid place to stock some fodder just to be safe uh, at the moment. Now, th the leak that I'm mentioning for the SBC today, this is the only card that we've had, um, I think, teased even. Anthony Modest. Um, this is, I, I think that's even his like dynamic from his um, Silver Stars card, or he had some sort of card earlier on this year. I think that's the same dynamic, but uh, these are stats that are predicted for Modest. He's going to be coming via SBC. That, to me, does not scream really high content. That seems kind of dead if i'm being completely honest it is a nice link to diaby so if you wanted to just cross the ball into a big type uh, physical striker which there's not a lack of those in the bundesliga with cards like holland and, and Lewandowski, of course but you might get another one today for an anthony modest tots sbc so we'll have to see if ea really starts to ramp up the content during the week because right now i think a lot of people are just left underwhelmed inside of Bundesliga Tots. Now, with these cards being so cheap and a lot of the prices dropping down so much, it does create uh, just the opportunity to, to try these cards on a lower budget and be able to play with an item. Wow, dude, are you serious? This guy was just 430 and now he's 397. This is crazy. I'm telling you, every single time I go and check back on the market, everything 
just keeps dropping lower with these insane packs and with the supply, insane supply. Alfonso Davies didn't get the five-star skill moves. And let me just talk about this really quick uh, at the end of the video. That's really why I think the, the hype is not here for a lot of these cards. We were expecting Alfonso Davies to have a five-star skill move boost. We were expecting uh, Nkunku to have a five-star skill move boost. And Nkunku's card, unfortunately, does not have the five-star skill moves and it's still a medium, medium card. So we only got the four-star weak foot boost. So again, like I mentioned, the leaks and everything being talked about with that stuff really got our hopes up. And when we actually saw the, the content released in the game, we're, we're underwhelmed. And that's the, that's the biggest negative. And, we, and we've experienced that multiple times this year now where we've been promised this or we've put our expectations here for with leaks or with something like that. And then what actually happens is down here and we end up being bummed because of it. So that's I think that's the biggest complaint that I have with leaks um, right now in this game. And it also takes the surprise factor out of a lot of things. Um, and I think that's why you're seeing people not super excited to for Bundesliga team of the season uh, and to tr try these cards out. And I think that's uh, reflected with their prices on the market. So definitely if you're trying to trade with these and be risky with it, uh, just keep an eye on them. If you're going to play with any of these cards for Weekend League, I don't want to tell you not to. All I'm going to say is don't hold on to them for too long because I do think they're going to drop even more later on because that's just something that we always see on Saturdays is the supply continues as people pack them from their Weekend League packs. And uh, yeah, these cards will have some fluctuations and you'll see people making coins off of them, but just be very, very careful and don't hold them for that long um, unless it's um, you know one of the cheapest cards like I think cost ditch is like 27k for a 90 rated card and that's like dirt cheap that's really that's really really cheap for a 90 rated card this cost ditch at 26,000 coins in fact he is the um, he is the second cheapest 90 rated card in this game uh that's that's really really crazy i'll be honest and this car is not even that bad four star skill moves high high work rates uh, that's, that's crazy cheap. So it might be worth like buying one of those and putting it in the club. If this is like 25 K, which I might do just because that seems silly for a 90 rated tots card to be 25,000 coins. Um, that's, uh, you know, 25 K. Okay. I can't get that. Somebody else has a, that good idea too. So just kind of watch the market today, right? Just be trading liquid with your coins. Uh, kind of like I'm doing, we'll maybe flip a few of these, uh, into the day today and Saturday, but most likely, I'm going to keep it thin. I'm going to keep it light. And uh, with this market dropping on the um, actually kind of everywhere, but especially on the Bundesliga cards, I'm going to steer clear of a lot of those, I really think. So that's the video for today, boys. Let me know down in the comments what you think about Bundesliga team of the season, how you rate it, what you think of the cards. Uh, if you packed anything sick, the counter's up to 40. Didn't pack any more insane blues from um, Prem Tots, but I did pack from my three saved up packs for Bundesliga that were Bundesliga specific. I packed Rom, the left back, Neuer, and Frimpong tradable. So that was a nice surprise. And it just kind of goes to show that the Bundesliga pack weight in those Bundesliga specific packs seems to be increased. So that's going to be the video for today's for today. Again, it's been Nate the Foot Accountant. I will catch you guys later. Peace.